These are the top five electric vehicles. For this episode, we enlisted the help of Roadshow editor Andrew Kroc, since he knows all the car things. A quick note, this covers only pure electric vehicles, not hybrids, so let's get to it. At number five, the Nissan Leaf. It might not be the newest of cars, but it's still relevant. For the 2016 model, Nissan packed in a larger battery. That means you can get a 107 mile range out of a charge. The Leaf offers a good ride along with solid tech like a 360 degree camera system and navigation. At number four, the Kia Soul EV. It looks a lot like its non-electric counterpart, except for that plug hiding in the front grille. The Soul EV has an excellent infotainment system and is a pretty smooth ride. At number three, the Hyundai Ioniq Electric. The price tag on this car seems really, really low. It's under $30,000 before any tax incentives. The Ioniq will give you about 124 miles before it runs out of juice. Inside, it's loaded with tech like Apple CarPlay, autonomous emergency braking, and DC fast charging. One catch, at this time, this car is only available in California. At number two, the Volkswagen e-Golf. Sometimes a good electric vehicle is little more than a motor and battery shoved into a body that's already popular. That's what the e-Golf is, a Golf that runs on electricity. The 2017 model is sleeker and inside you'll find a 12.3 inch display that replaces the gauge cluster. Its range is 125 miles, which is only half of our number one pick. The number one electric vehicle is the Chevrolet Bolt EV. It gets a ridiculous 238 miles of range. Plus, it's loaded with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and an embedded 4G LTE hotspot. This car was at dealerships almost a full year ahead of the Tesla Model 3. Chevrolet plans to expand the Bolt EV's availability to all 50 U.S. states eventually. A big thanks to Andrew Kroc from CNET's Roadshow team. If you're into cars, check out theroadshow.com. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.